In this video we will talk about the standard checkbox. We will take a look at the difference between the state and value properties, take a look at the action and open events, as well as some of the differences between the Mac and Windows and Linux. One of those is the focus and the other keyboard is shortcuts. What do you use a checkbox for? Anytime you need to let the user make a true or false decision, uh, this is a good, good use for it. And we'll show that here in a second. We'll start with a blank project in Real Basic. And the first thing we'll do is rename our window, give it a title, and then we'll add two checkboxes to our control. And we can do that by double clicking or dragging. I'm going to resize these a little bit so I can do some things with them. And then I'm going to name both of them. And as you can see, uh, as with most of the standard controls, uh, it inherits many things from the rect control. It has uh, all the left right with height properties as well as the lock and if uh, um, you have a tab index or if it's a tab stop or not. Uh, on Mac OS X tab stop doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot unless you have uh, um, some special settings for keyboard access. It has a caption property which allows us to change this text right here we can change the enabled setting whether or not it's visible and obviously when we change it to, to invisible or not visible uh, in the IDE we can still see it but if we run it it won't be there. Uh, we'll add a help tag and the help tag gives us a a tool tip on uh, information that might be helpful to the user. And we'll just add something silly in there to, to make it interesting. The auto deactivate is for when the window um, becomes deactivated. Um, the control itself will become deactivated. We also have a number of font uh, attributes down here. Uh, text font, size, and units. And the other one that, that we want to do is we're going to make both of these bold. And then I will do similar things to this one. And then finally, both of them, and both of them, we're going to set the initial state. And in Real Basic 2009 Release 1, they added the intermediate state. And as you can see, it adds a little dash into it. And what this does is this uh, gives the user some feedback to say, hey, this has not been set. Normally a checkbox has a value property of either true or false. The state property allows us to set it so that it's neither. However, if you check the value uh, of this checkbox at this point, obviously in run mode, uh, it would be considered false because it's not true. And in this one, we will make it checked. On this one, uh, we're going to add an ampersand in front of it. And this will allow us to do a keyboard shortcut in Windows. If we double click on it and go into the code editor, you can see that a checkbox has uh, a number of standard events, close and open. Uh, for example, uh, if you were using this on a properties window, the open event uh, could be reading from your preferences system, uh, preference uh, file, whatever, and then the close event could be saving that, that information back into the preferences system. It has a construct con a contextual menu. Um, I've, I've ne never seen one where you'd want to use it on a, on a uh, checkbox control, but you never know. Same thing with the drag events. And in get focus, 
We're going to add a break in there so that we can see how in Windows um, tabbing to a control will get it focus. And we'll also see on how on Mac OS X it never gets there. And then we have all the mouse down events and in general these aren't used on a checkbox either. So we'll run this on in Mac OS X and we can see that the property started off as uh, a dash and oh, we forgot one thing. In our action event this is um, just like with a push button um, there is some action that's going on and for right now we're just going to do a message box and a convenient function uh, of the C string is if you pass it in a boolean value it will convert it to true and false. So we'll run and the first time we click it it now goes to false. We click it and now it goes to true. If we hold the mouse button or the mouse over the control itself you can see the tooltip pop up and really it's a pretty simple control. So let's do a few, let's, let's go into Windows now. And the first thing you notice is that we got the focus. We dropped into the debugger. So. And when we click on it, we now have the focus again. click it our value is now false. Now one thing to keep in mind is that because we put the focus on there we will get that every time we uh, have a message box and goes back to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that and go back into Windows. Now we can see the tooltips in the windows. And there's our properties. So before we had a we added the ampersand in front of the one or the O and the one. And if we're on Windows, if or Linux, if we hold the Alt key and then press O, we now get the fire the action event. Okay, let's do one more thing to demonstrate a few issues. In our open event of our window, we will add a a value statement. So all we're doing is we're going to set the value of CB1 to true and if we click run nothing happened. What happens if we change the state? And all I did there is there's now an enumerated value that is uh, in the checkbox. And we got through that by the check states enumeration. And if you add a dot and look at it, there's our three states that were available in the properties list. So we'll do checked. And because of the, st the state now was changed uh, in the open event, we uh, we looked at it. So it looks like uh, if you change the value that event is the the action event is getting called but if you simply change the value uh, it doesn't look like it is. One thing to keep in mind when you're programming things. There's our initial look at the checkbox control in RealBasic.